Open Metadata offers a rich set of data quality tests you can use out of the box. In release 1.5, we are adding a new test to ensure your data remains consistent throughout your ETL processes. So far, we had support for testing the data within one specific table, checking the validity of your data, completeness, uniqueness, or even adding custom SQL tests for checking business rules. For this use case, let's imagine we want to track how our data is evolving from the orders table to the orders process table. Both tables are similar, but we might want to see if the status column remains the same. Before this release, there was not an easy way to compare the data between two different tables. This is why we are introducing the table difference test. With it, you can validate that multiple appearances of the same information remain consistent. You can choose which column to use as keys to identify the same record in both tables. Define which columns to look for mismatching data, or leave it empty to check them off. Or even choose a threshold of mismatched rows before triggering a failure. Let's look at some examples. As you can see, in our consistency tests, we have comparisons both succeeding and failing. Our failing test only defines the key column and the table to use to compare, and there are certain records where the status column has been modified. Note that while the data difference test is available in open source, the fed row sample belongs to the collate offering. If instead of comparing all the columns, we only analyze the column ID, we can see how the test passes, as the values are the same in both tables. Checking the other passing test, we see that a simple filter on the data also allows us to get back to a successful state, since the mismatches only occur for certain rows. With the table difference test, you can now cover even more data quality use cases natively with open metadata, ensuring the consistency of your data every step of the way. Open Metadata With Open Metadata, we want you to be able to find the data that you need as quickly as possible. To help you do that, we have revamped the Explore panel to make it easier to navigate through your data. Clicking on any element of the tree will automatically populate the filters at the top bar. We also understand that different users have different needs. You can define user personas by going to Teams and User Management and selecting Personas. Here, you can add as many as you need to match the functions of your organization. Then, you can customize the landing page of each user persona to help them find out the information they are looking for. Go to Preferences and Customize Landing Page. Following the goal of finding the right data quickly, we have introduced the Data Asset widget, which will display your services directly on the landing page. With it, the users can quickly explore by directly clicking on the technologies they are familiar with. With Open Metadata, all your data is just one click away. Open Metadata. Dividing your data into domains can help you organize the assets that can be owned by multiple teams. In previous releases, we already added the ability to create domains, add assets to a domain, and sharing some of them as data products. With release 1.5, we are introducing subdomains to give you more flexibility when organizing your data. On top of this, we are now adding RBAC controls to allow only users from a specific domain to visualize the data. Note that you can still use data products to showcase publicly consumable data assets. Organizing and securing your metadata has never been easier. Open Metadata Our vision at Open Metadata is to capture metadata from every part of the organization. With the API services, you can see a list of all the collections and endpoints available. Inside each of them, you can check both the request and response schemas, plus other key elements of metadata, such as ownership, tiering, classification, and lineage. Now, you're one step closer to having full end-to-end -end root cause analysis, compliance, and observability on your data stack. Open Metadata.